Good afternoon. Uh, it's again time for our daily uh, two-minute Bible reading and thought. I'm going to read from 1 Corinthians, uh, the 12th chapter, beginning at the fourth verse. Now, there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit, and there are varieties of services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. May the Lord add a blessing to the Word. Each of us has been given something for the common good. Some of us might think, I've been given nothing. I've got so many wrong things about me, I, I can't figure out how I fit in life. I, I have this physical thing that's not right. I have this learning disability. I have this, I have that. I can't remember that or this. We, we think we have nothing to give. Well, that's just not true. I was watching this very special comedian uh, yesterday on YouTube. His name is Brad Williams. And he's very special for a couple different reasons. And one, he's only four foot tall. And he said, as a little person, people used to feel strange around him. They still do feel strange around him when they don't know him. And uh, some of them were even like a little afraid to be around him. And he said, so he started looking at all the things that were kind of difficult for him in a social situation. And he, he began to make jokes out of them, little comedy skits. You know, for example, he said, you know, you think it's difficult for you to go grocery shopping? Can you imagine when I come out shuffling my feet, holding a box of Lucky Charm cereal, what people say or think? I, this man has so much life and so much joy that he's been giving. He's taken something inside of him, something that he is, that everyone might think was an impediment to having a full life, and he's turned it into even a fuller life. I, I don't know what we all have, what all problems we have, but there's things that give us difficulties that give other people difficulties too. There's things inside us that we because we can turn into laughter or we can, we can become vulnerable with them and open that other people will feel comfortable to share their vulnerabilities and the things that are uh, giving them great roadblocks in their lives. And it's all for the common good, says the Bible. To open up, to have that humility, to, to, to want to share our most intimate moments with other people and the gift of laughter that's the, the joy and laughter is one of the greatest gifts we could ever give. That Not everybody can do that, but we can, we, we, we can still be that joyful person that helps people laugh and helps them to feel like they are cared about, that they are needed, and that their problems maybe aren't any bigger than yours or mine. And together, for the common good, we can make something joyful and great happen. May God bless us today. Amen.